Hi, this is Michelle. I am working on the Bucilla 2019 Glitz Santa Felt Stocking. I am doing the beaded outline right now, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how that's done. In the instructions, you get some pictures and a paragraph here that'll tell you exactly what to do, but I thought it might be helpful if I made a video while I'm doing it and show you what to do. Um, so, so far, I've done the top, I've done the toe, I embroidered the face and applied it to the stocking. That's that's all you have for embroidery and um, applying pieces. The rest is all doing the beaded outline and filling in with sequins. So this is really fun to do. Um, the base of the stocking um, is just sequins, no bead. So you attach them um, above. I did above and below with you know white floss. Just attached them. Um, I did all that, and now I'm doing. The beaded outline so I've got my gold beads here and in your floss you'll find that there's yellow floss and there's a gold so I want the gold because I'm using the gold beads so in your floss it's 36 inches long and in these you get you know six strands I only want one so I'm gonna take one strand of gold floss here and I don't work with a 36 inch um, piece. I always like to make them 18 inches. They're just easier to work with. They don't um, tangle as easy. Um, so after I have my single strand of floss, I want the small beading needle that comes with the kit. So I uh, will put one end through my needle, not the other end. Um, single strand. So I've already started, as you can see. Um, I When I'm doing stockings like this, I like to start with the inside pieces first and work my way out. So I did the face, I did the mustache and everything, and I'm about halfway through. I got down here to the belt, and I'm doing that now. The instructions tell you to string four beads at a time, and really four beads at a time is all you need because if you use more, um, your beads aren't going to stay on the line. They're going to sag a little bit, and it's just it's going to look a mess. So four beads at a time. So I got my four beads here. One more. So I've already done a little bit on this line of the belt. You do four, attach, string it up, four more. So once I got my four on, you can kind of see where you need to go back down. So go, go back down after you get your four beads strung on there. Then to attach them to make sure they don't go anywhere and so you can grab four more, you come back up through that last bead. Come right back through and that kind of anchors it down and pull it, you know, you don't have to pull it really, really tight, but you want to pull it, you know, so it's secure. And then you're going to grab four more. And same thing you can kind of see how much room it takes up so you know you know about where to go back in and then you come back up through that last bead can you see that I'm almost to the buckle now if, if I was to the it doesn't look like four is gonna fit there so I will only do three So get three more and then I'm gonna end right here at the buckle I don't want to try to even go any further because I do I do each section um, you know alone I don't like just keep continuing like I won't go and start like go right up around the belt buckle I'm gonna go right to the other side and do you know the top of the belt after I get this part done so when I come to a stop like this I'm gonna stop I'm gonna Put the needle through you know I went through the end and then I'm gonna um, knot it on the back I'll knot it I'll cut it off and then I'll continue over here and I'll just keep working my way down and and eventually I will get this all done and then I'll start filling in my areas with sequins when I fill in my areas with sequins the instructions don't really tell you um, in this kit they don't tell you uh, you know start at the bottom work your way across wherever it, it kind of looks like you can do whatever you want so you can fill them in randomly or um like here they made nice rows I like to make nice rows I don't like to just fill them in randomly I like to um it, it just looks neat look how neat um 
his trim looks um, that it's it's in lines because you can really see the white here how nice it looks so that's what I'm gonna do when I start filling them in I'm gonna I'm gonna do nice nice lines and and then I'll be done and this is gonna look like really really sparkly it's really pretty okay there you go